Hey guys, how the hell are you? Today we are going to do a new episode of My Personal Guitars. We are going to be going over something you guys have requested for a long time, my BC Rich Terrence Hobbs Warlock. This instrument has maple neck through body construction with mahogany body wings, an ebony fretboard with 24 frets, we have Grover tuning machines, and we have a Floyd Rose that has been upgraded with parts thanks to FU Tone, as well as Seymour Duncan AHB1 Blackout Humbuckers. So the Warlock body shape holds a very esteemed place in my heart. My second guitar I ever owned was an old Class Axe Platinum Series Warlock. And a few years back, I started aggressively searching for a new Warlock to add to my collection. I decided that I wanted one of the Made in Korea ones that came out about a decade ago because those things are exceptional bang for the buck. However, in my search, I found that so many of them had overinflated prices and as a result, it took me a while to finally find one that I was willing to pay for. In searching for a Warlock, it had to have four key features. Number one, I wanted a neck through body construction. Number two, I wanted dual humbuckers. Number three, I wanted a Floyd Rose Bridge. And number four, and this was a must have, it had to have a reverse headstock because fuck the Widow headstock shape. That is literally the worst aesthetic choice that's ever been made to this body style. After searching for a few years, I finally found a Russian seller on Reverb that was selling one of these Terrence Hobbs Warlocks at a decent price, albeit in the photos it looked like it had been beaten up a little bit. That being said, I decided to still take a chance and I'm glad I did because although there is some body damage on some of the points, this ended up being an instrument that looked way better than the pictures suggested and just needed a little bit of TLC. Upon first stringing this thing up and tuning it up though, I discovered that number one, those Rockfield Mafia humbuckers that were in their stock had to go. They were awful. So I threw in this set of OG AHB1 blackouts from Seymour Duncan that I had had laying around. They used to be in my Schecter C1 Exotic for about a decade, and they have now found a new forever home in this beautiful instrument. Also, this instrument had a lot of problems with tuning stability, so I talked to Adam from FU Tone and I managed to get some new parts such as new springs, the new block, and also new screws with which to tighten this sucker down. I was briefly toying around with the idea of selling this instrument in favor of getting one of the new ones, but this thing plays so exceptionally well and sounds so awesome now, there is literally no chance that I can sell it. It is one of my favorite instruments to write on and it is a brutal metal machine. 